Hey guys, this is Alex with GuitarForce.com. Today we're going to take a look at Oh Pretty Woman, which was covered by Gary Moore, and uh, also Albert King is playing a part there. Although we're going to be concentrating more on Gary's parts, we'll still include um, Albert King's solo. And uh, this was supported and requested by Curtis, so thank you very much, Curtis. I hope you like this lesson. As usual, the tabs and the backing track are going to be available at GuitarForce.com for free. Um, as far as the sound, again, nothing changes. I was using uh, the uh, VST plugin guitar rig, and uh, again, I'm going to post a picture of the preset that I was using. The tuning is standard, and uh, while you're checking out the picture of the preset, here is my low E for your tuning reference. <laughs> Alright guys, so without further ado, let's take a listen to the intro part, then we'll come back, close up and start the lesson. Let's have a listen. Alright, so the intro of the song starts off with this phrase. So here we play everything on the low E string. First we have a slide out from around 12th fret. And then we go 3, 6, 7, 8. Like that. And then the next lick goes like this. So here we have a band on the B string, 11th fret, full step and you bend up the note, you hold it for a while and then you add some vibrato at the end like that then the next part so here we go down the uh, C minor pentatonic scale so we started off with uh, the 8th fret on the uh, high E string then we go 11 8 on B then onto the G string we have a bend, 10th fret, bring it down, pull off to 8. Then we have another bend on the G string, and then we go right into the 8th fret of the G string. And we have a slight bend here, like a micro bend, it, it, because it's a... Uh, the yeah, minor third, so it's kind of a blues thing where you bend this note a little bit. And then after that we have two notes on the D string, 10th fret. And then we play, we finish this phrase with the double stop on the B and the G strings at the 8th fret. So one more time. And we slide out, and then the next part of the uh, intro goes like this. So here we go into the second position of the um, C minor pentatonic scale, and we uh, have a band on the uh, high E string, 13th fret. Then we do two more bands, and if you can get catch that uh, B string at the same time, on the 13th fret, uh, that would be uh, also, um, you know, very appropriate for this sound, like that. So we have these two bands, and then the last uh, phrase is um, a lick which uh, we play again. The band on the uh, same string, high E string, 13th fret. Bring it down, pull off to 11, and then finish off. Um, on the B string 13th fret. So one more time. Add some vibrato at the end and then we slide out. Alright, so the, now the whole intro slower goes like this. All of the legs together. Alright, so after that we go into the first verse and it goes like this.
All right, so during the verses we have this typical blues thing where the uh, singer would sing a line and then play a line on the guitar. And uh, same we do in this song. And in the first verse we have um, first three licks which go like this. So here we start off with the uh, band on the G string, 10th fret. Bring it down, pull off to 8, and then we have 10 on uh, D, and we slide out. Like that. Then the second line. Here we slide into the 10th fret of the uh, D string. Then we play 8 on G, and you can have again a little uh, bend. And then we play 8 on D. Like that. And then the third lick is going to be. So here we're using the double stop on the B and the G string, so the 10th fret, bend it up half a step, bring it down and uh, pull off to 8 and slide out. Like that. Uh, this, this last one it goes by very fast. And uh, after that we go into the uh, F chord. And now keep in mind that uh, we're using the uh, typical blues progression here. So we go from first chord to the fourth, back to the first, then five, four, and one. And uh, here the chords are going to be obviously C, F, F, and the G. Okay, as one, four, and five respectively. So when we go into the uh, F chord, the fourth chord, we play a little so, sort of riff which goes like this. So here we sl slide out and then we play the first fret of the low E string which is the F note and then we play first fret of the G string to the third fret on the D then we have little chromatic line here uh, which is um, starts off on the uh, third fret of the A string and then on to the D we go one two three and then we kind of repeat the first part again these two notes first fret on the G third fret on the uh, D so one more time now we're back to the um, C chord and we play this lick. So we outline the C chord with uh, just the low uh, E string at the 8th fret, C note, and then the lick itself starts off with the bend on the uh, B string, 11th fret, then uh, playing 8 on the B, and then we go 11 8 on high E, 8 on B, then we have this part which is G string 10th fret, um, 10th fret bent up, then we play 8 on the uh, B, then we have another bend on the G string 10th fret, this time I bring it down, pull off to 8, and then the last part we have again bend on the G string 10th fret and then we go right into the 8th fret of the G string okay so one more time slower then after that um, the last part of the verse goes like this So then we go to the G chord and we have chucks here, uh, kind of palm muted, eighth notes. Right, and then we have again this uh, kind of chromatic uh, line, which again we go from six, seven, eight, fret on the low E string. Right, like that. And then the last lick for the turnaround. Again, another band on the B string, 11th fret. Then we go 8 on high E, 11, 8 on B. Then we play 10 on G to 8 on B. 
then we have eight on G to uh, ten on uh, D, ten A, and then we have eight on D to A on uh, the tenth fret. Again, slower. Okay, so that's the last lick of the uh, first verse, and then we go into the second verse, and it goes like this. Okay, so during the second verse, again, we have the same idea as in the first one. The singer, in this case Gary Moore, is singing the uh, line and then he plays um, the lick right after the uh, vocal line. And in the second verse, uh, the first lick goes like this. So here we have a uh, gradual bend on the high E string, 13th fret. Kind of step and a half. And then he slides out, right? So this is the first lick. The second one, just a trill on the D string between 8 and 10 fret, right? So this is the second one. The third lick is going to be on the G string, we have a uh, quick slide, uh, you know, no particular fret just uh, uh, above the 12th fret, kind of fast, and then we get back to the 8th fret to 10. You know, the first slide is just for an effect. Okay, and then these two um, notes. Then after that, again, we go to the F chord, and uh, here uh, he plays exactly kind of same thing as we did in the first verse. <laughs> But uh, here he plays a little bit uh, longer, uh, kind of rhythm guitar here. So, <clears throat> again, the first part, you know, we have two slides out and then again. So on the first fret of the low E string, F note, two times you can play it. Then we have first fret of the uh, G string, third fret of the D. Again, same. Uh, chromatic line uh, starting with the third fret of the A string and then we go on to the D one two three again we repeat the first part which is the first fret of the G third fret of the um, D string and then we have this chromatic part but uh, now starting from the uh, low E string third fret and then we go on the A, one, two, and we have to get to the C note. Um, what I do though, I change the position and I play the uh, C note right here at the eighth position, so on the low E string, eighth fret. Because after that we, pl we continue playing and uh, we have to play it in this position, so it's going to be like this. So here, when we get to this posi position right here, we play this part, and uh, uh, we play the low E string, 8th fret, C note, two times. Then we play 8 on the G, to the 10 on the uh, D. Uh, similar idea to when we play an F in F, but this time in C. So we start off with the 10th uh, fret on the A string, and then we go um, 8, 9, 10 on D. 
Then we play an octave lower, so on the low E string, 8th fret. Again playing 8 on G to 10 on D. So one more time. And also we have this. Okay, so rhythmically we have a 8th uh, note with the dot and then 16th note. Like that. Uh, so back to the uh, D string at the 10th uh, fret, pick it one more time, then we have again 8 on G, and uh, back to the 10th uh, fret of the D. Um, this might sound a little bit complicated, but uh, when you see it on the tab and actually listen to it, how it goes, it's not that difficult. So I'm just going to play it um, slower, the uh, whole thing. Um, this last part. So it goes like this. So we got here so far and then we have this is a G7 sharp 9 chord right we pick it one more time and then we go so again we have this chromatic line which is on the low E going uh, 6, 7, 8, so. So this last part, again we are back to the C chord. And here we are going to be using a double stop on the uh, G and the D strings, 8th fret. And then again we have this. So after the double stop we go to D string, 10th fret, then onto the A, 10th fret, and then back to the uh, D string and we have again 7, I'm sorry, 8, 9, uh, 8, 9, and then we have this uh, double stop, another double stop which is uh, 10 on D and 8 on G string. And then we finish it off with the uh, again G sharp seven uh, sharp nine chord. All right. So again, one more time, the whole thing, the whole last part, goes like this. So this is the uh, second verse and then we go into the first solo played by Gary Moore and it goes like this. Alright, so we're going to break down this solo into uh, licks and phrases. The first one goes like this. So here we start off with the bend on the high E string, 13th fret. Then we go right into 11th fret of the high E and onto the B string, 13th fret. We stay on that note, add some vibrato. And then the last note at the end of this lick is going to be back to high E string, 11th fret, and it's a, a very fast bend, like that. Then the next phrase... Alright, so this is played slowly. And uh, we start this uh, lick with the uh, bend on the high E string, this time 11th fret. Stay on, it, on this note for a while, then we have... So it's a kind of half step bend um, on the same fret, 11th fret of the high E. Then we go right into the 8th fret and then 8 on B. 
Then we have a bend on the G string, 10th fret. Then we play 8 on B. And after that, we have a um, uh, the the uh, C blues scale um, going on here. So we go on the G string 11, 10, 9 uh, to the D string 10th fret, and then 10th fret of the um, G string again. So so far we got this. Alright, so after that 10th fret of the uh, G string, we go to 8 on the G, right? Then we play um, back to the 10th uh, fret of the G string and it's slight bend. And then we play uh, a trill on the B string between 8 and 11, alright? Alright, so, so far we got this. Okay, so we play this trill for about three times. Then the next part. Again, back to the G string, playing the blues scale. So we have uh, 11, 10, 8. Back to uh, the D string on the 10th uh, fret. Again, 10 on G. 8 on uh, the uh, G. And then we have this typical um, lick, the blues lick, which is uh, bend on the G string, 10th fret. Then we go 8 on B, 8 on high E. And then we have bend on the B string, 11th fret. Alright, so this goes by very fast, okay? So um, just keep that in mind that I'm playing here very slow. Um, okay, so after the trill, we have this. Add some vibrato, and then we have a uh, very fast. This part, which is um, starts off with a high E string, 8th fret. Then we go B, 11, 8. Again, uh, blue scale, G string, uh, 11, 10, 8. Again, this kind of lick with the rolling motion going on here. Uh, when we play two strings at the same fret. So, 11, 10, 8 on G, uh, 10 on the D string, 10 on G, 8 on G, and then we have... So here on the D string going 10 to 8, then we have another um, lower octave of the of the C blues scale so on the A string we go 10 9 8 slide down to the 6th uh, fret and then we are back to the 8th uh, fret of the A string and we have a gradual bend so Uh, that last phrase is going to be 6 on A, uh, f uh, pull off from 8 to 6 again, and then we finish it off on the uh, low E string, 8th fret. Okay, so um, uh, this last part of the uh, solo goes like this. Then we slide out, and then the next part. Again, this is played pretty fast, so we have a uh, bend on the high E string, 11th fret. Then we bring it down uh, to the 11th fret, and then we have hammer on 8 to 11 to 8. 11 on B, back to high E, 8. So. so after that we have um, on the B string 11 to 8, on the G we go again uh, blue scale, so 11, 10, 8, 
Again, this lick with the rolling, um, with the rolling motion. So D10 back to um, G string 10 fret, eight, and then it ha again we have this lick, which is G string bend up at the 10th fret. Then we go to B8, high E8. And then we have a bend on the 11th fret of the of the B string. So one more time. Like that. Then we have... Um, so this very... Um, it's a gradual bend on the B string, but before that we have another two notes which are on the high E and the B strings 8 fret. So we go high E, 8, B8, and then we have a gradual bend. And uh, keep in mind that it's uh, two steps up. So gradual bend up, release, okay. And then the last part. So here we start off with the uh, high E string, 8th fret. Then we go 11, 8 on B. And these three notes are played uh, slower. And then uh, onto the fast part, and we play again um, the uh, blue scale on the G string, 11, 10, 8. 10 on D. 10 on G to 8. So then we're back to 10 on G and we have this hammer on pull off on the B string 8 11 8. 10 on G 8 on B. Then we have uh, pull off on the G string 10 to 8. 10 on D uh, 10 on G back to 10 on D and then we have 8 to 10 to 12 on the G string alright so um, again this might sound complicated but w once you look at the tabs um, you know it's all the matter of um, remembering these phrases so now, now I'm just gonna play again kinda slower so you can get the melody inside your head so it goes like this Okay. All right. So the last part of the solo goes like this. So here we change positions. Now we go to 16th fret of the high E string. We have two bends, a whole step. Then we have. So here uh, again on the high E string, 13th fret, and it's kind of half step bend then bring down to the 13th fret and it's played fast then after these two notes we go to the B string and we have again 16th fret and it's kinda half step bend you know it's not the sh um, you know just the uh, 16th fret of the B string but it's again kinda this blues uh, thing where you bend the string a little bit so we have this like that So after this note, we then go back to the high E string, 13, to the B, 16, to 13 on the B string. So last um, two notes on the uh, 13th fret of the B. We stay on this note for a while and then we have... Again, kind of gradual bend, and it's a sort of step and a half on that 16th fret of the B string. And then last note is going to be on the uh, A string, um, 10th fret. Alright? Alright, so here's the whole solo slower.
Alright, so during verse number three again we have a few leaks going on. The first one goes like this. So here we are fretting the eighth fret um, of the first, second and third strings. And uh, now what we do is we slide down one fret and then back up. So we have eight, seven, eight using these three strings. And then the last note is going to be on the high E string, 11th fret. And we slide out. Like that. Next lick. Alright, so this one is similar to the uh, to this one. And uh, this time we just uh, bend uh, the uh, G string on the uh, 10th fret. And then we go 8 to 10. Like that. After that we have on the 8th fret of the G string, bend up and then add some vibrato, uh, bring it back down and add some vibrato like that. Then we have this kind of thing uh, where we have a little slide on the high E string you know, no particular um, fret that we're going up to just uh, like a, uh, in the previous it's just an effect like that and then we have so sliding on a G to the 10 and back to 8 fret and then we add again after the rest uh, another note which is uh, exactly the same on the G string 8 fret so something like that then after that we go into the fourth chord and uh, here we just play a couple notes um, just to add to the uh, harmony, so we have something like these few notes, so we're outlining the uh, F here and uh, the note that we're going to be playing is on the B string, uh, 9th fret and then we play on the G, 10 then we include a double stop Again, kind of similar idea, but um, double stop now is going to be B9 and uh, high E8. Again, alternating with the tenor of the G string. And uh, then we go back to the um, C chord and um, again playing some of the notes of the uh, melody. You know, this kind of thing as uh, we did previously in the... Uh, uh, in the other verses and then again we play the G 7 sharp 9 chord and then we have again uh, the uh, chromatic line and again the same ending as we did in the uh, second verse so and that's how we finish this third verse and uh, after that we have a uh, solo played by um, Albert King and uh, we're gonna break it down in the next section <laughs>